So welcome to my uh, little Sony Vegas Pro Title tutorial. Um, we'll start out by just adding a little background here. I'll use one of these noise textures, um, pick this cloudy one, uh, drop it into the timeline, and then we'll just simply uh, animate it. Uh, let's pull it down here, oh, and we'll just animate this background so it kind of looks like some uh, wavy clouds moving around a little bit. Um, obviously, if you're if this was a real project, you would put a little more effort into this. So click the animate button at the bottom and then uh, we'll just play with our, uh, our settings till we get something that looks somewhat decent. Move the progress bar over here and it basically just shifts the texture through through space and records a keyframe. Uh, so you can see what it looks like when we play it back. Um, it's good enough. Uh, we'll just adjust the color here. It's a little too purple for my liking so I'll just make it more blue. And again, just playing, guessing with some numbers and colors here. So, advance to our last keyframe, and uh, again, adjust our colors. And uh, somewhere around here should work good enough. And the texture itself is a little bit noisy, so we'll just. Uh, um, change our layers of, of cloud here to make it more soft yeah, and again for both keyframes ideally you would change these before you create your second keyframe that way uh, if it's supposed to be the same then it would just remain the same throughout um, so we'll go uh, over here to our generators and pick our pro title we'll just drop in a blank one to our timeline and it is a little bit of a slow plugin. Um, I mean, it is default with Sony Vegas, but it is slower than I would expect it to be. Um, so we can just zoom out with the mouse wheel and, and move it around with our middle mouse wheel button. And, uh, and if you click on collections, it gives you a, a decent set of, of pre-made text effects. And you can pick one of those and use it, or you can uh, customize and make your own. So I'll just show you some of these ones that come with it. Um, we'll pick that one. Just basically just click and drag it into this uh, pseudo timeline area. And then uh, click out of collections. And then we can just double click in the text and, and type in whatever we want to call it. So favorite title in this case. Uh, again, this is a tutorial showing how the title works, not uh, not really a good example. This cascade button here allows you to cascade one effect over everything, all the child elements. So if you can think of it as a hierarchy, you got your your phrase you got your words and then you got your letters and so right now it's cascading um, each letter with that little fade and zoom uh, thing. So I'll just delete that and create something brand new here. So I'll just double click in here, edit my text, um, how about movies rock? And then just highlight that and change the font to something a little bit more, uh, more fun and increase the size and if you select one each character or word and you can customize it separately so we'll just make this uh, purple let's say and we can adjust our stroke width just to make it stand out a little bit better against our background uh, I'll just make it black for now um, and let's make it these are the other options here we can choose uh, background or strike through underline whatever um, but let's make it a little bit bigger um, just for fun and escape click out of that now right now it's just a flat title there's nothing happening and so if we go here and we go um, selection by character and then adjust this you can see that it's um, and we animate this you can see that it's going to uh, basically make a selection per character. And we can change that per word or per character. We can turn fade on, on or off. Um, so 
let's just start. Go back here to the to the beginning of the clip, and if we click this down barrel button, that allows us to pick our uh, our child element. So our child element in this case is the word movies, and so here we'll go back to uh, to making a uh, just a scale animation. So turn on animate for X and Y, and then we can just scale it way up and at the same time I would like um, for it to fade in so at that beginning I'll set the opacity to zero then we'll just increase our time a little bit make our opacity visible and then if you double click on these they just snap back to their default and so now we're back up to the text now we can see we've got a little bit of animation going on a word level We can continue uh, doing the similar thing. So here's what it looks like on the actual video with our background. So now we can uh, we can go further down to the character level. So right now I'm, I've got the, the first character selected M, and I'm just going to uh, animate the rotation and uh, bring it in a bit double click to reset. So now we've got that first letter, first letter rotating as it comes in. And if we click the cascade button, then it'll do the same thing for all the letters within that word, within that element. Um, so it's relatively quick to, to create some interesting text and title effects uh, with these. And again, this is just a demonstration of the feature, not necessarily a, a good example of, of good animation and good text titling. And so let's go to uh, the word rock. And so if we go down to the word layer, now we're at character, go back up to word layer, and uh, trying to select the other other word rock here. I had a bit of a, a brain freeze here, so there we go. So I just clicked on that text block for rock, and uh, it allowed me. So now I can select the, the characters for that text, and we'll just animate the rotation for that character. And uh, sorry, not the rotation. We'll do scale. Yeah, so just make it a little bit smaller. And uh, we'll just see what it looks like. And again, this is just a preview. It's by no means a good example. This is a relatively new feature that I've, I've uh, learned in Vegas, and so I'm still not 100% proficient with the tools, and I'm kind of still learning as I go um, to adjust these kinds of uh, parameters. But it's, it's a fun way to, uh, to add some excitement to your text. some of those keyframes there and kind of start over. Like I said, I wasn't exactly sure what I was doing here. This is, I'm recording the audio after the fact. It's not the live recording of the audio with the video. If you click on each of these keyframes, it'll snap your, your timeline marker to that keyframe so that you're not creating a keyframe, um, for instance, three frames away that'll give you awkward motion or really fast choppy motion that you don't really want. Um, so now we're getting in a little bit better. That's um, what I'm after.
anyways, I think that's going to be get it for my uh, for my Vegas Pro title tutorial. So I uh, hope you're able to to learn something from this. And uh, pardon my audio levels if they're a little bit low. I'm using a, a really poor quality microphone. Um, but yeah, hopefully hopefully this helps at least teach you how to use this tool, and then you can explore and, and figure it out on your own. Um, I know the first time I tried it, I was I was really confused as to how to get anything uh, working the way I wanted it to work. So um, please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, and we'll see you around. Thanks.